Michael is playing. Looks like a, uh, a wolf bant. Run bant? Wolf run bant. Pretty standard. Uh, he is at one think twice, which is uh, pretty much the way it's going. People are cutting that card because it's not very good. All right, here we go. And we're underway. Breeding pool for Michael on turn one comes into play tapped, and a uh, steam vents on Emilio's side also comes into play tapped. Glacial Fortress off the top for Michael. He looks like he's got quite a land heavy draw. Yeah, I see, play another breeding see pool and pass. Um, he's got double revelation over there on Emilio's side. Yeah, one off the top there, and I believe rewind is in his hand as well. All right, best uh, best counter spell, right? When taps all your lands. Yeah. Glacial Fortress and pass. Michael has a turn three. Augur of Bolus, which is going to eat an Essence Scatter. Interesting. Yeah, and Temple Garden comes down for Michael. Interesting. Tapped. I don't think I would have done that in about a million years, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it might work out. You essence know, Scatter against his Wolfram Band deck is so good because their creatures are so good. You got Thrag Tusk, Angel Serenity. I don't care how many caverns you have. There's not enough to name all the types of creatures in this deck. Maybe Emilio got the uh, the old mind read, knowing that uh, Michael's hand is all land. Yeah, he heard us uh, mention his land. We yeah, we're about a full room away, but it's yeah. possible. It's possible. <clears throat> oh no, we can't rewind now. All right. And Augur of Bulls. You don't want to. You want to counter that? <laughs> okay, He's so dangerous. He finds. Does he whip? Nothing. Looks like he whip. Puts an angel at the bottom, but nothing else really that important. I, mean, that's, I don't think he has a counter spell now. He tapped for Augur. And now if he plays a Thrag Tusk here, which he does. Look at that, he's got Essence Scatter mana up. What? What? Essence Scatter? It? <laughs> yeah, that seems like a strange... That, it seems like a couple of strange decisions there, but... Uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, you can Searing Spear here. That's what he's going to do. Searing yeah. Spear, your Thrag Tusk, so you have a 3-3. Three, three. Luckily, Emilio's hand is so good in this for this matchup that it doesn't really matter. He can He's going to be able to revelate for 2, then 3, and then refill. Um, but the Essence Scanner there would just be a, a devastating player. Oh, and that's another revelation. It's all three revelations wow. in a rewind. So you definitely play this land untapped here. Pass turn, rewind anything he does. Don't you put that land in play untapped, or tapped rather, <laughs> excuse me. He thought you about it. Go in there and like, slap him on the Yeah, go, yeah, untapped. Hey, yeah, well, do it he, right. He knows you have a revelation now, whatever. Like mm -hmm. that matters. All right, let's see. You got a wolf run over there, right? Uh, I believe good. so. Yeah. Not getting a great look at Michael's hand, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's got Farseek and I think several lands. Angel of Serenity and White card over and way Might to the be. left. No, he's or, gonna Farseek. Is that Angel? Uh, I almost saw it. He's gonna rewind on the Farseek. Uh, another strange card to counter because. It seems like Michael is not lacking any any sort of lands here. I, I think Michael's confused too. <laughs> <laughs> you hasn't scattered my auger of balls. And then rewind the turn seven far seek or turn six far seek. All right. Uh, I think Emilio is just having a good time. Yeah. Well, I think I when mean, you have three revelation in your hand, you don't care what you counter here. But the rewind, that's man, that's a card that you just want to hold forever. When when they have a beast token out, and that's all they have. And he didn't attack with his 3 3. I guess he's trying to avoid Restoration Angel. Yeah, well, but. Revelation resolves, draws Emilio two cards, finds a cliff top retreat, think on twice, top, and passes back. So I think twice, a land, and then the Revelations. I think if Emilio finds himself on the losing side of this game, he's going to question. Maybe he won't, but I'll, I'll write this down and hand it to him. A couple <laughs> questions I have about. I just I think the auger is the most baffling, and the rewind is pretty close. All right, restoration angel from Michael. That would be a better rewind here. Yeah, but uh. Right, I'm gonna get off the rewind. I'm sorry. We'll, yeah. we'll go ahead. It's it's it happens. It happens. So. It does happen. Restoration angel and beast getting in. Yeah, I, I take six. Out of fourteen. I think he, he I think he has had angel of serenity because he would wolf run there. No, or restoration angel. Or, uh, excuse me, it's Chase Revelation. Yeah, he's going to respond with it. Yeah, Revelation of his own, and that's uh, 
That's going to be, this game yeah, is going to get Michael's a lot closer is, than it should have been, I think. So Michael's uh, revelation is bigger than Amelia's. It is. And when you're drawing James cards in this deck, James it has such a wide variety of threats. If you look at the list, he's got counter magic and draw, but then he's just creatures are so good. And then if he happens to draw, does he have um, Uncountable Land in here? No, he doesn't have any of those. Oh, Cabin of Soul? No, so. <laughs> Uncounterable Land? I can, like, sometimes I have a brain fart when it comes to cards. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, land for Emilio. The Besiju who shelters off. Yeah, yeah, that's who it is. <laughs> Second Augur. The Deadly Resolve. Augur Bullets. The Deadly Augur. The you world's deadliest charm. Looks like Aurelia was right there. And, Aurelia was uh, my answer. He takes the Azorius charm. And passes back. Another interesting thing, I think again I would just say go and then draw four cards with my last revelation. Because his hand is <laughs> lackluster at this point. Restoration Angel comes over. Knocking in Emilio to 14, presumably, or we're gonna hit see an Azorius charm. No, that's. I think. It's another interesting note, not attack from the 3 3. Like, what's he afraid of happening? Uh, a Resto Angel coming down? I mean, that's not the worst scenario. Yeah, it's really not a big deal. You have a Kessig Wolf run in play, so if he does have a Resto Angel, you just pump, pump through, pump, uh, push through. Yeah. Thrag Tusk. From Michael Bernat. He's clearly got a better board position. Yeah. I think Emilio's hand, I can't see Michael's, I'm sure his hand's still a little better. He says, having that third revelation makes it so, you know, he can just refill it anytime. So uh, Searing Spear takes out the Thrag Tusk, leaving Michael with two beasts to Emilio's two augers of Volus, and plays the land and passes back. I think no if Michael does something here, I think he has a revelation response. So, think twice, draws Michael a card. He is not revelation response. So if Michael draws a dissipate, Emilio's 90% advantage here could go right down the tubes. Yeah, two dissipates main deck for, uh, for Michael. And you can count on the Wolf Run decks having at least two counter spells main deck. Azorius Charm on the Beast. One of the Beasts. Other beast looks like it's going to get in. It is. Another non wolf running situation. I, I guess if Michael has a revelation, Emilio should not flash his back. So he think, uses think twice and then uses a second thing. I think he's twice. got a revelation. Or I wish I could see Michael's hand. Are you sure he has another resolution? I don't know oh, who, uh, Emilio? No, I know Ma Emilio does, I don't know if Michael does. Uh, that's what I'm asking, if Michael has one, that would be the only reason why I wouldn't wolf run, right? Oh, uh, right, three, yeah. Three? So three, three. So Emilio, Emilio at 14. And he's doing something here. He's got Aurelia in hand, I think just off the top. There she is, the war leader. Three, four flying, haste. I don't know if it's haste. Can't remember. Yep, has haste. Thought Three, so. four flying haste. When it attacks, uh, you get an additional attack step after this one. So as we send in the team here, something's happening pre combat. Oh, oh he's, he's got to dissipate for the Aurelia. Okay. All right. So he does have to dissipate, and that again is a a dagger to Emilio. Luckily, the dissipate was on Aurelia instead of the Sphinx Revelation, because once the Sphinx Revelation is gone, Emilio is down to nothing. Yeah. He has no more revelations in his deck. He's down to a couple think twice. I, I hope Michael has a second dissipate here. It's going to make this game real interesting if Emilio can figure out a way to win after his last uh, ditch card draw is uh, out the window. He's going to flash back, I think, twice at the end of Emilio's turn. Didn't see what he drew there, but... Oh, it was a detention sphere. Draws a temple garden off the top, and uh, beast token attacking. So 
Snowball. Sure, Four is uh, nine lands on Emilio's side and two augers of Polis who just seem to be hanging out, not uh, not blocking or anything here. Yeah, if you're Emilio, you're getting toward the life total where you need to start blocking and making him use the wolf run. Got uh, six, I'm sorry, Angel seven Serenity. mana here, yeah. Or Angel of Serenity from Michael Bernat. <clears throat> the thing is, now Emilio's going to be able to untap and draw a lot of cards. Oh, it gets that auger back. They got Essence yeah. scattered. Boom. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, so double Thrag Tusk and Augur of Bolus for Michael Brown, all out of his own graveyard, removed by Angel of Serenity. All right, so Emilio needs some main phase Revelation here. What has he got there besides Revelation? Is I see an Augur and two land. Oh, it's an Augur. I'm sorry. Didn't think he played Syncopate. He doesn't. Yeah, I think. Yeah, here's who you want to be. Yeah, just draw all, all your old, all seven. I'm play Sphinx's Revelation four. Looks like seven. he's going with four. He's not. Oh, you need to tap out here. It's not even close. Tap out. You're at 11. Oh, no, no. Actually, he's at 11, so that could be lethal. No, no, he's going to gain seven life. Yeah, tap out. I think yeah, you so tap. He goes with five here. I think you tap out here. And if he doesn't draw well here, this could be it. That was real Ooh, bad. That was four lands. land in the Snapcaster, it looked like. Was that right card? That's a land, right? Secret Foundry? Foundry, yeah. He drew four land in the Snapcaster. Maybe he's trying to add two more cards. I think so, yeah. He's like, can I get two more? <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes with Augur. See what this two would have been. It would have been a... a land, two land? Two again? land again. Ugh. All right, well, yes, it doesn't matter. The two life could have been relevant, though. Finds a pillar on top with his uh, auger bullets. It's almost, it's almost never right to not max out your revelation. Um, and the reason being is you can't control the three out you're trying to hit the top four cards. You might as well go six, take a beating, and then have that much more chance to hit your outs. He's preparing for a wolf running uh, bash here. Michael's got to be afraid, though, of Emilio's hand because of how many cards he drew. If he only knew that they were all land. Snapcaster, Pillar, five land. Yeah, if you're Michael, you just feel like your opponent has all kinds of answers. Right. But we know that he has nada. Well, if he's got Snapcaster, oh, he has access revelation. to his graveyard, so... Uh, but being tapped out, it really doesn't matter. This is the first time where we're not supposed to attack with our beast now. Yeah, I have. He has my permission. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll simply just triple block it. Angel comes over for five. All right. So here's our situation we're in now. Emilio is out of revelations. Michael looks like he has seven spells in his hand now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, six Amelia, oh, wait, no. It looks like a lost house. It looks he's like trying he's, to discard. <coughs> I think he's got to discard here. Yeah, he's going to discard another land here. He's actually, he's holding on to a couple land, or one land at least. He has another revelation. So Michael, at this point, has every card he could ever want. Discarded a couple of Azor or at least an Azorius Charm, a Verdict, and something else. Looks like land. Yeah, it might have been. He's holding on to the Snapcaster made off the top for Emilio. And we know that he has six year relation to the yard, so Snapcaster can do that for you. And he can get uh, nearly the same amount of cards. It looks like this is just going to be a revelation after revelation fest here. I'm going to look at Emilio's deck list. I'm going to see what cards that he's actually yeah, what yearning his, for, his, his outs. outs. Yeah. And he has. Nothing. He has one Aurelia on the bottom of his deck. And he has and none of these spells dissipated. do anything. He doesn't have any wrath effects. He has four charm in his deck, three pillar, four searing spear, and that's it. I don't like I don't I don't know what series of cards Emilo can draw to combat his opponents one of Kessig Wolf right here. He's counting up the uh, the wolf run damage that uh, 
yeah, inevitably just, take here. Yeah. So he doesn't actually have an answer to the angel. He can't. There's nothing in his deck that can kill it. He has just a Zorius charm. So there are all the spells. He's gonna just pitch all these lands. Yeah. So he uh, he digs further with the flashback Sphinx's revelation there. Yeah. And the reason why I was saying he's had a revelation is I thought that Snapcast was gonna be used to deal with the, the angel. But now I realize that his only real answer is uh, putting on top of his library, which is not the best answer in the world for that guy. Yeah, give you three cards and you can do it again. Yeah, and he doesn't have a Thought Scour effect. So he's just... Yeah, this isn't looking great for Emilio. Um, he's drawn like half his, or more than half of his lands, it seems like. Yeah, he's just easily just starting a bunch of shock lands here. Still discarding here. Yeah, discards a couple of pillars of flame. Yeah, trying to keep them on the uh, camera. Yeah. On the camera for us, so we can kind of see. That's just fine. That's fine. It's just fine. It's too live with the steam vents. We saw him keep. This is just going to create a uh, a big punch here. Can he even take this damage? That is. Yeah, so uh, eight. He's just like, I'm gonna do it again. Um, Angel coming over. And Wolf run. I think he's only doing it for six. It looks like. Yeah, that'll be eleven, right? Not the other two. I don't want he must be, you know, using the other two for something else. Yeah, it doesn't just, change the clock at all if he adds those other right. two. Augur of bullets, which resolves this time. Yeah, it is. He's very surprising. He finds a Farsi. I can't help but think back if he had the rewind for that angel, how different this game would have been. Because it's just such a hard card for Amelia to deal with. And luckily in this format, it's healthy, but nobody's really just playing like rogue decks that are out of left field. So you can pretty much know after a few turns what all the cards your opponents are playing. I mean, that's not just this format, that's pretty much every format since the invention of that dag on the uh, internet. <laughs> So, well, it was mentioned uh, on Twitter that perhaps he countered the Farseek to keep Michael off of red mana because he actually didn't have red mana at that point. Um, could be, right. So that, that at least makes some more sense to, uh, to have rewound that Farseek, hoping to, hoping to just... Yeah, you know, there's definitely had to be some logic. That, that could be the logic behind it. I, I don't think it's still good to do that because it's, it's just an eventuality issue. I'd rather counter... Because he has... So many burn spells, searing blades, and Zorius charms to deal with the beast token that was in play. That wolf runs on a problem, but that angel is it's almost unbeatable. I'm just looking at his deck list and I'm just hoping we're missing something that can answer it. So angel swings, Emilio has the Azorius charm for it that time. Um, Michael's hand restocked. And he plays a Thrag Tusk, which eats an essence scatter. Right off the bat there. I think even, uh, I like Emilio's sideboard after this, so when, and when we get to game two, we'll be able to see a, a nice transition. It's going to go into a more uh, mainstream blue-white-red deck here. So Emilio's hand appears to be Snapcaster, Restoration Angel, Restoration Angel, uh, is it pillar, a, I think. Searing Blaze, a Pillar of Flame. I'm sorry, Searing Spear. Yep, see? It gets yeah, you, it gets I you, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, far seek from Michael, and he's gonna, he's gonna shuffle that angel away. Twitter fans, I hope you guys uh, are okay. Can I just say red burn spell? Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Incinerate. Just say. Can, let me just say red burn spell. Red card. He has a red card in his hand. He does red things. Hurts hurts the uh, enemy and their creatures. So far seek shuffles away that angel. Although Michael has. Some more threats in his hand. He's tapped out at the moment. Passes the turn. Emilio now. Five cards in hand. Flashback on Think Twice. I think he drew an Azork. No, he drew another Angel, I think. Yeah, he's his, land, his spells had to be somewhat stacked because of uh, how many land he drew earlier. Yeah, so Restoration Angel comes down. 
probably going to blink an auger here. Yeah. Right. Blink the auger. Trigger. Azorius Charm. Counter, counter flux, flux. Steering Spear. Definitely the play Takes here. Takes a Counter Flux. Emilio being at six. Yeah, is, and that was all at the end of Michael's turn. That's why that was, yeah. Definitely, he, he played that right. I think he's, his opponent's trying to do something. Oh, he's trying to discard. Okay. Yeah, discards Augur, Bolus, Bull and then Emilio untaps. So, Emilio at six life uh, versus Michael's 37 life, but Emilio with uh, kind of rebuilding his board position. He's got a Restoration Angel, Snapcaster Mage, and three Augurs of Bolus. Restoration Angel's going to swing in. Michael Bernard, that's a that's quite a mountain that he has to climb. Thirty-seven life. Yeah, that's true. He also, I think Michael has a second wolf under his hand, which will make two attacking creatures lethal at the same time, which is going to be uh, another challenge for him to overcome. Does he have two wolf runs in play? I thought he had two. I see one, but I see I one too. Maybe he only has one. He has two in his deck list. Um, so here goes Resto Angel. Yeah, so Michael's attacking with his Augur, Bolas, and Beast Token. Emilio responds with a Restoration Angel, which looks to be jumping in front of the Augur of Bolas. He needs to choose a target here. He uh, is going to blink Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster comes back. Flashback on the Azorius Charm, which removes the Beast. And, uh, I think here comes the Supreme Verdict. This would be my uh, two cents here. I think it's Supreme Verdict's deck, right? Yeah, here it is. Supreme yeah. Verdict from Michael Bernat is going to clean things up after Emilio deals with Michael's entire board. And again, Emilio really didn't need to play that Rest Angel. He had plenty of blockers out there just to, to gain a ridiculous advantage from. Um, but if he didn't have the Verdict, then Emilio could have untapped and really cracked back for a lot there. So Thrag Tusk to uh, to start the rebuilding process for Michael Granat, but Emilio has Essence Scatter, uh, Snapcaster Mage, Essence Scatter for the uh, Thrag Tusk. So board state is a lone Snapcaster Mage on Emilio's side of the board, and a ton of lands on both sides. I wonder how many cards Emilio has left. It can't be that many. Draws Counterflux, so he's got double Counterspell in hand. Swings in with Snapcaster Mage. That mountain is is even tougher now with a two power guy. Yeah. I wonder how much it will affect Michael's chance of winning after discarding that uh, verdict earlier. He might need that. And then Restoration Angel comes down and is immediately met with Counterflux. Sun Petal Grove off the top from Michael Bernat. Plays it. I think he has Angel Serenity, Resto Angel. Kind of hard to see. I think there's another I think verdict. It's actually, two and two restoration angels. I don't think okay. he's got angel serenity. Okay. Yeah. And, and this, I uh, see a blue white card. I'm not sure what that is. He said go. So I think he's got a detention sphere. Okay. He might have a uh, revelation too. He does play four. We haven't seen. We've seen two. So he passes back. Emilio swings with the uh, snapcaster mage and looks to be thinking, going to pillar you. <laughs> You're at, what are you at, 34? Two to you? Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's at 34. I think he's at 28 now. Yeah. That he gets some life total updates. But, uh, yeah, there it is, 28. Two for, or four from the Snapcaster and one, uh, two from the Pillar. So, cycle Azorius Charms, as Michael Bernat, finds a Thrag Tusk. He's going to, uh, looks like he's going to just straight up play the Restoration Angel. Emilio responds with a Restoration Angel of his own. Blink Snapcaster Mage. And dig through my graveyard and find a counter spell. <laughs> it's pretty yeah, much I think we're going to rewind uh, now. Yeah, it looks like, uh, oh, he's got the other, the other Essence Scatter. Yeah, that was the first one. So, Essence Scatter, your angel. Milu has a ton of counter magic. He really does. It's unbelievable how much counter magic he has. I guess it's just the function of Snapcaster and Restoration yeah, Angel. Yeah, but even so. <laughs> Michael yeah. says, well, then I'll play another Restoration Angel. I got more. I got more Michael for you. Michael has as many Restoration Angels he has as another has counter spells. And he has another Restoration Angel. If he would have rewinded instead, he mm -hmm. could have had enough mana to play the second Restoration Angel and then Essence Scatter the second. Yeah, you're right. 
but he luckily, also has counter flux. Yeah, luckily he has. He's gonna be able to play Resto Angel here, blink his Snapcaster after he wastes all that mana on Wolfront, and then Zori's Charm on top of his library. If he has set Zori's Charm in his graveyard, which I think he does. Yeah, so uh, Emilio's hand is Searing Spear, Counterflux, Restoration Angel. He's got a Restoration Angel on board currently blocking, it looks like. Is it, is it, I yes. mean, it looks like it's blocking. He's in block mode, he's block running now. Michael has one Restoration Angel on board, which is swinging, and it appears that he is getting. Uh, this is lethal. He has to play his Restoration Angel, blink his Snapcaster, as if he has his Orange Charm in the yard. I don't know if he does or not. It looks like plus seven from the, uh, the wolf run. This could have all been prevented with a Resto Angel if he would have used the Rewind first and then the Essence Scatter second to switch the order. If he had used the Rewind first, Michael could have just responded with the other Angel. Yeah, he, he could have. He could have. Do you think he would have, though? I don't know. That's, I don't know. If, he was, if his idea was, all right, I'm going uh, to lose this Angel. Because right. what happens is he counterspells the Angel and he just plays another one. So yeah. at that point, you know, you tapped your Rewind, Rewind on the stack, play oh, my right. Angel, your Rewind resolves. That would have been the, definitely the better play. I, I Sometimes, like, I, I know me in that situation, I don't think I would have made that play. It's mainly because it's hard to, uh, the game goes by so quick, you know what I mean? Well, while that Restoration Angel is so attacking he, with a Wolf Run pump. He does have the Azor Strong. Okay, yeah, so. you, you, what you mentioned is what uh, happens there. And Woo! Restoration Angel blinks Snapcaster Mage, who flashes back Azor's Charm to deal with the attacking Restoration Angel. And then Michael Bernat plays Detention Sphere, removing both of Emilio's Restoration Angels. So, whew, that was quite a, was. Uh, quite a lot of... And Emilio Action. is out of win conditions. He has Aurelia at the bottom and a Restoration Angel at the bottom. That is all four Restoration Angels. That is now where you know, we joked about how is he going to win now. Now, how is he going to win now? <laughs> 14 <laughs> attacks from a Snapcaster. Yeah, he's going to have to do it. Well, he has a Restoration Angel here. And that is, yeah, he does have an Angel of Serenity. I saw it. This hand, Michael Burnett. The second card is right behind that. See it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Drag test for Michael Bernat. I'm pretty sure. Counterflux here. Maybe I, I, he could just be more conservative to avoid. He knows he has a Resto Angel, so I, I think he might let this resolve. Well, he decides to counter. Because now here comes the the old uh, knockout punch here. I think Michael, you just slam that rest. You slam that uh, Angel Serenity and call it a day. Because even at worst, at a counter spell, you still get to untap, and then you have. Oh, he's going to go with the rest of angel instead. The only reason I don't like the rest of angel here is you're giving Emilio another draw step to draw an answer to your card. Right. If he didn't have an answer now, which we know he doesn't. Right. And when he only has two cards in hand, and you, when you have two cards in hand, and your opponent does, you need to play like they don't have it when you have a backup plan to it. Up the top is land. just a land. Snapcaster gets in. Michael should be at 24, I believe, at this point. Right, this is the ball game because Melee is at six. He's going to play this. He's going to give it plus three, plus zero, oh, and then that'll be the end of the game. Yeah, Restoration Angel, end of turn for Michael Bernat. And we may be able to uh, get to game two in the next few seconds. Emilio should pack it up because you should try to finish yeah. the match. I mean, he's wasting time yeah, right now. A lot of time already gone by. And, uh, oh, he's a thing twice in the yard, does he? No. I guess he did. Oh, I don't even know if he knew. He had to look through there. Oh, very tricky. Yeah, like yeah, he's he's if he knew he had that, he would have done it a while ago. Did he remove a rest to Angel? Oh, no, he oh, has a, a Moreland Haunt. Haunt. Didn't even see that in the list. Uh, I, when he played that, I thought it has a big glare on it. I thought it was like uh, yeah, an evolving. I, I, I didn't see that either. All right, well, Michael Burnett's not falling for any tricks. Max Pump, Milo, tick, 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 tick. Let's go to game two, guys. Game two. Okay. Yeah, all right. So 40 minutes or 30 something, minutes in. Something I learned playing control back in the day a while ago. You can't, when you know the game is, is not going your way to the point where you're you're dead that turn, you don't waste that. Actually, that two minutes is precious because you are likely to draw more than once in a tournament if you don't pick up the pace when you're playing a slower deck like this. Yeah, we saw Emilio at the end of the last round, but that was 
that was pretty late in that round too. I mean, yeah. There's still some time left at that point, but I mean, th these decks are going to go long uh, in a lot of situations. I think, I, I do want to say, like, Emilio did really put up a fight where he I kind of thought that he was out of the game 10 yeah. minutes ago. He has so many answers to what uh, Michael was playing, but the problem is what we were talking about when we put him out of the game is because we looked at his win conditions and we realized none of these things are strong enough to finish him off. A man's yeah. at 37 life, and he's playing Wrath of God, or excuse me, uh, Supreme Verdict. Right. So you'll never be able to build up enough little dorks to kill him, A, and B, Aurelia, your only other answer is at the bottom of your library. Yeah. So it's inevitable, because we know that. We're looking at two deck lists. Exactly. However, uh, Emilio should uh, make sure he picks up the pace here so he can get to game three. So uh, what were you were saying, you felt like um, the Emilio had a oh, sideboard. I'm sorry, uh, reasonably good uh, sideboard plan. Yeah, I like Emilio's deck much better after game one. He gets to bring in Angel Serenity of his own. He has his own detention spheres. He has uh, Supreme Verdicts of his own. He has Negate. He has Jace Memory Depth and Dispel. I would bring in my entire sideboard, minus the Is It Static Hazards. What are you cutting for all right. that? <laughs> There's a lot of cards I've cut. I don't yeah. like a lot of the cards in this deck against this matchup. So you're bringing, uh, in, you're bringing in 12 cards here? I bring in 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. I would cut, um, I would cut Searing Spear, because against his deck, it kills the Thrag Tusk. And that's it. Right. Uh, maybe cut the pillars. Cut the pillars. So, so that's that seven. Seven uh, cards. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so cut. cut I, five more cards. I'd leave Essence Scatter in. And I'd cut. Uh, I might not bring the dispels. Actually, I might just bring the negates in. But dispel is the reason why you have it for this matchup for uh, six of Revelation. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's an iffy one. But definitely cut those seven right off the bat. You can afford to shave off um, uh, an Augur Bolus. Go maybe one down to those. So that's eight cards. Um, I would cut maybe a think twice or two. You cut the rewind? And I cut the rewind. So I cut two think twice, one rewind. Uh, and then the pillars in the searing spears? Pillars in the searing spears. Because you're playing a heavy land. I think this is like 25 land also. Let me see, 4, 5, 9, 13, 14, 18, 22, 26 land deck. You have four Zori Charm, and then you have six of Revelation. So you're not going to have a hard time hitting land drops. Um, and all those cards in your sideboard are very good in this matchup. So are you going with, uh, what, like that's that's the plan if you're not bringing in Dispel. Right. Right, so you're, you're just not going to bring in the Dispel? Or do yeah. you think that... Dispel or if, if you think that the game will go to the point where um, it's all a revelation battle, and I, like I said, I don't play either of these decks very often, I might not bring the Jason and bring the Dispel in instead for the cheaper answers to revelation right. instead okay. of punishing five drops. So um, either one like that is fine. As far as uh, Michael goes, yeah, I think he he's going to do something similar where he, he's going to bring in the Supreme Verdict, I imagine, just to have that extra one. And then the counter magic. Yeah, and the counter magic. What do you think about the rest in peace? As much as Emilio was making use of his snapcasters in his graveyard, uh, you Sad almost feel like you want it. Sadly, it's, it's just not it's, good it's enough. It's not good enough. But like, it's kind of like uh, when they're bored in against the control decks to stop the lingering souls. Yeah. It's good. But you have to admit, remember that you spent a car to do so. Yeah. So, we're underway here. Game two uh, between Emilio Ferrara and Michael Bernat. Uh, Michael has resolved a turn to Farseek. And Emilio is just, uh, just playing land go. Michael's turn here untaps his three lands. Stole, uh, stole serve there with yeah. the Farseek. Farseek Resolve. Yep. And just a uh, Sun Hill Grove from Michael. Passes back. Land go, says Emilio. And end of turn, Restoration Angel from Michael Renat. I think he might match it. Nope. Oh no. Resolves and uh, draws another Angel off the top. Restoration Angel in for three. Now Emilio plays his. Is there, that's not a wolf running the bottom, is it? Uh, I believe it is. Oh and that's no. That's what he's going to do. He pumps the. Uh, Pumps his angel. Oh no. An extra two. Let's uh, get Emilio's out of the way. So that's very aggressive. 
aggressive play from Michael Bernard. Yeah, that's aggressive. So Emilio untaps. Has a Sphinx's Revelation in hand. He's uh, looking, is he actually considering it? Yeah, he is. Gonna go ahead and just draw two. He's getting, he's making up for that two life he just lost. Uh, <laughs> the yeah. trample. Sorry, I'm a little stunned still. Let me uh, let me snap out of it. All right, we're good now. We're back. All right, so we're drawing the card here. <laughs> we have uh, I I think the problem here is uh, we have to use our resources to one for one. When you start going zero for one or two for one of yourself, you're gonna fall behind this revelation race here. All right, so he draws three. Yeah, Michael has a revelation of his own, and his is one card bigger than Emilio's for the second game in a row. Passes back after swinging with his angel and... Uh, Luckily, Emilio, Emilio has a uh, counterflux in his hand to, to pair with... His snapcasters were kind of weak at this point, so the counterflux is going to make him much stronger here. Emilio being down a game with 15 minutes left, too. We need to... I think I would have maybe... Obviously not blocked there, but when you, if you play the rest of the angel in a turn, he's only Searing Spear and Snapcast. You could have really done some damage back at him. Well, Restoration Angel attacks again for Michael. Another Restoration Angel from Emilio to get in the way. This is actually a good play this time because he has two open for Searing Spear. So Michael's going to assume that he has his Warrior's Charm, so he's not going to want to pump and then get blown out. So, but they're going to bounce off each other and then Emilio can then Searing Spear, except for Michael might be concerned, like maybe questioning him because he's the first time he just threw it right in the bin. So if Michael's really thinking, does he really have an Azorius charm or is he making another mistake here? Yeah, and he's tanking. Again, we have a problem here because Emilio's two for one himself again. Or two for one instead of uh, zero for one. Right. So he's going to pump the uh, and pump if, his angel if for Mike, two. If Michael has a negate here, one. this is going to be just awful, devastating. He does not. So, uh, no, so uh, he's gonna, it looks like he's going to far seek and then the spearing spear. Yeah, that's the way you play it. Okay. Your opponent left up the two mana. That's scary. Representing stuff. some sort of uh, counter spell. So. Board is clear yet again, and the skies are safe. Yeah. Temporarily. Temporarily. Farseek happens, finds a hallowed fountain. Michael needs to get something going here. He's got double Snapcaster and a Counterflux and another land, I think. I, I think main phase, he should have Snapcaster yeah, and then Revelation for two again, because his hand is so barren. Or he can do it in the turn here, it's fine too, but he just needs to do it. I think he needs to risk him having a Revelation on his own, because he has to build something here. Oh, so it's he land did. go for Michael Bernard, and then Emilio top decks Jace Memory Adept. He did bring in the Jace. And he uh, plays the land. I would have played it untapped, played Jace, and, Jace and counter. Counterflux. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. On an empty board, that is a devastating like uh, play against Michael. Uh, so, don't land go from Michael, and uh, Emilio untaps and says go. He's not uh, in any sort of rush to win this game. Yeah, it's yeah, 13 minutes left. If you slam Jace and they counter his detention sphere, you're in business. And he draws Aurelia and says go. He really wants his, I know what he wants to do, I'm in his head right now. He wants a counterflux and he wants a snapcaster counterflux and he wants a snap counter and counterflux. <laughs> but the problem is you can only do that once. Yeah, and then he has <laughs> then to. Then you don't have counterflux yeah. anymore. So Restoration Angel is now on the stack for Michael Bernard at the end of Emilio's turn. And here comes a counterflux. Michael is not in any rush to win this game because he won game one. Yeah, he's up again. He doesn't need to uh, win he this knows game. He just no, needs to not right. lose this game. He knows there's no game three in sight, so not slow playing, but just playing it slow, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. No need to make any hasty decisions. Sphinx's revelation. For four, looks like? Yeah, here, for four. Here and, comes the Snapcaster. Uh, snapcaster counter counterflux. I think... I think Emilio could have had a Jason play for two turns there. I agree. All right. Well, he's done his thing that he wanted to do. Now, hopefully, he deals with the. Uh, I told you, I was in his head. I know what he. I know what he wanted. wanted to do that. I know so, how the banana feels here. 
Michael trades Sphinx's Revelation and Restoration Angel for Snapcaster, Counterflux, and his opponent being completely tapped out. So what is it Michael Angel wants to of here? Serenity. It is Angel of Serenity. And again, we know that his deck just doesn't really have a great answer to Angel of Serenity besides his own Angel of Serenity. So he, uh, he, he right. takes his own two Restoration Angels out of the yard, leaves Emilio with a Snapcaster Mage. I like that. Uh, we saw earlier somebody remove an auger that wasn't necessary, and I, don't, I think I think you just leave those dorks in play. It is a little threatening considering Emilio has Restoration Angels to uh, make oh, use of the Snapcaster. Right. Again, he's so. already wasted two, but yeah, you're right. I mean, if he draws one of the other ones, then it gets kind of uh, sketchy. Yeah, he does have one, I think, in his hand. Is that an angel right there at the bottom of his hand? I'm pretty sure oh, it's another restoration it, angel. I can't tell. I think that's what it is. That's like a disenchant. <laughs> so he's got Jace, Aurelia, Searing Spear, uh, Snapcaster, and Restoration Angel is what, I, what it looks like to me. I think he's going to play, I think, at this point now, Jace Memory Dev doesn't do anything. He just dies. Aurelia doesn't do all that much right now either. No, no, no. <laughs> it trades with a, uh, the Angel Serenity with a Searing Spear. That's about it. I think his only play here would be saying go, yep, yeah, and then having does. Resto Angel block his Angel, give your Snapcaster flashback, Searing Spear the Angel. And that looks like the plan, so Angel of Serenity attacking. Emilio taps four. Well, he's changing his mana here, but he's tapping four. Plays a Restoration Angel. Does that resolve? It resolves. Okay, does it resolve? Snapcaster is going to be blinked. Is that cool? I'm going to give Searing Spear flashback. Is that cool? We should definitely wait for damage to resolve first. Yeah. Uh, block before here. Before he uh, Searing Spears. Exactly. And uh, Michael's going to get some extra some extra damage in potentially with the wolf run. I think he's thinking about not doing it because he's going to get those two rest angels back and he can just drop those in a turn. So he pumps for two. Searing spirit. Oh, oh he's double do it that spear. way. Okay, yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah, yeah. He wants to keep his resto around. Yeah, he actually keeps his restoration. In. So it's just going to eat a double searing spear if, uh, if all goes as Emilio has planned. Maybe he has some grand scheme of uh, Aurelia coming in play and then attacking for a thousand. Like, oh. On his turn, I think we're just gonna dissipate the searing spear. Is that? I mean, uh, if I was a if I was Michael, I'd let it resolve. You're basically if you're trading your dissipate for restoration angel, if you do that. Yeah, I'd rather just pick my let it die, get my two restoration angels in hand, and say good luck to him. You know. Yeah, this, this is gonna do. He's gonna let it die. Yeah. So okay, resolves. All right, dead. All right, I have an angel, and then I have two angels. Right, one, two, three. Detention sphere on your uh, on your that angel. Tends to happen a lot. Yeah. Got minor gone, safe. Here we go. Negate off the top for Emilio. It's pretty good. He can play Aurelia. Yeah, he definitely play Aurelia here. You got to try to kill him. And then negate him. Eight him. minutes to make this match a draw, basically. So uh, there's Aurelia. It's ten damage. And there's a dissipate in Michael's hand. So. Uh, but luckily, he drew that negate. He did. That is a perfect storm there. Representing a combat of but 10 damage. Sad, so yeah, dissipate. Sadly for Emilio, he's got a Supreme Verdict, as Michael does. So. Yeah, so two attacks should knock Michael to 11. 11. Here comes the verdict. Verdict right into. Yeah, these are gonna. They might concede here. I would. I guess not. I might as well play the last seven minutes. Yeah, I mean, it depends on if he needs to go 
you know, take a break. Use the bathroom. <laughs> Use the bathroom. This is going to be tough to, to come back from. He's going to try the Jace route now. Plan B, we call it. Michael is at 11. Here comes Plan B. Yeah, Jace can't do 11 damage. No, Jace can't do 11, nor mill the last, like, 40 cards. <laughs> right. And he well, has the game Michael's anyway. like, well, I, I still had all these, is what he's telling him. Yeah. And here comes Resto Angel in the turn. End of turn restoration angel. And Michael. And Emilio seems to be out of gas at this point. Yeah. I think it's all over. I think we're we're calling the fat lady in a minute again. Yeah. I think you're right though. I think if Emilio had played those uh, a little sooner rather than just like three or four turns, well, I guess it was like three turns to right. just land go when he has, he you has can't, a yeah, you major can't win condition with uh, counter backup. Yes, yeah, so you can't play land go when you have when you're playing the Jace strategy because your plan is to play Jace, slam a counter spell to back it up, and then hope it gets there. And he it would have got there uh, at the time. Michael had no counter spells. He drew those counter spells off that revelation on his turn for four, so it would have resolved. Melee would have had counter flux for the defensive sphere, and who knows? Jace could have uh, zero 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 zero. Him. It was on an empty board, too. That's another frustrating part of it. Yeah, and he didn't have a lot of time. That's the other thing. Yeah, you so, got to try to win quick. He, he is, a, you know, ideally trying to go to game three. Yeah, even a draw here is not the worst in the world. That's better than a loss. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Restoration Angel is joined by a Thrag Tusk on Michael Bernat's side and uh, Emilio. Five minutes left to try to win this game and get a draw. Only way I see him winning this game is if we Michael has very few cards left in his library and he rips the other Jace. And even then, he has to have really few cards. Yeah, says go ahead. No play. I know a verdict to Michael. Verdict in this matchup makes Emilio's life miserable because he has his guys are so small that he has to build a force to win. Yeah. It reminds me of the old Delver decks. And Verdict prevents that from ever being effective unless you have Boris Well, looks like we're gonna see an Azorius charm on one of these attackers. Yeah, I think he play he should play a Snapcaster. Block and then bait the Azorus Charm or the Azorus Charm with Rag Tusk after he wastes all the Kessig men on it. But he's electing to just put on top, maybe trying to bait Michael into bullfronting the Angel and then finishing that up. Oh, there's no baiting to be had, he's just yep. gonna go ahead and do it. Snapcaster Mage, Azorius Charm, your Angel. So, yeah, he really could have, he could have made Michael spend all his. Spend his turn with Keswick Wolfron. Right. Or he could have just, instead of putting a Thrag on the top of the library, he could have wasted a Searing Spear on it from the graveyard with the Snapcaster and then used his Zor Sharp from the tail on the resto, which would have been the same play, so we would have killed the Thrag Tusk. So yeah. there's a few other things he could have done here. But then again, I think Amelia is feeling the pressure that yeah, this I... is not going to go his way. And at that point, you're just playing yeah. it out, enjoying your last few moments on the camera. And uh, I've been in this situation before. So a Thrag Tusk for Michael Bernat, passes back to Emilio. Emilio just draws Negate or, or Searing Spear. He has both. Um, and passes back. End of turn, think twice. Emilio loses the Searing Spear on the Beast token. Now think twice is resolving. I think Michael Burnett's played pretty well in this match. And I think the deck he's playing is is one of those, like, it reminds me of Stoneblade and Legacy. It's 50 50 against everything. It's got all you want card draw, life gain, counter magic, removal, big guys. So uh, it, it's just a tough matchup for the Flash deck. So Restoration Angel comes in still at the end of Amelia's turn, blinks a Thrag Tusk, gets a beast, gains five. Michael Bernat from 11 all the way up to 29. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, that was rough. 
That was Very rough. rough. Um, kind of looks like a small Ari Lax, doesn't he? Michael Burnett a little bit? He does kind of look like Ari Lax. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ari Lax when I first saw him. Like, hey. Just in time.